What did you say your name was again? Nia. Nia. I'm Savon. Oh, I know exactly who you are. I've been trying to sleep with you ever since my freshman year in high school, but I guess Versace beat me to it. Did you happen to take a pregnancy test? <laughs> I took one. Oh, y'all yeah, want the result. Um, well, my mama took me to the clinic and um, it looks like I'm two months pregnant. Get rid of it. Excuse me? Brian is not ready to be a father. That's too bad and it's not my problem that he's not ready to take responsibility for what he did. So, yeah, my body, my choice. Nia, my mom will kill me and you. And Brian, you wouldn't even have to claim it. I was really trying to get to Savon, but I took you because, I mean, you really do look just like him. The only reason why I slept with you is because I can't sleep with Savon. But to know that this baby is related to Savon, it makes me very happy. But you can deny it. I just need Savon to claim it. Delusional. You can't keep it. Are you a man telling me, a woman, what to do with my body? Yes. I'm not interested in being a teenage father. I don't care. I don't care. I'm keeping this baby and you're going to have to deal with me and the baby, gay and all. Okay, listen. How old are you? You know how old I am, Savine. 16. I haven't loved you since I was 14. See, you ain't ready to be a mom. You have your whole life ahead of you. You care about my life? That's inspiring and all. My mama always supports me being 16 and pregnant. And we already picking our baby names. So, it's a done deal. I got a support system. I'm good. All I need is you. Savon, you said handle it. I'm trying to handle it. But it doesn't look like I'm handling it. So, Versace, how is Savon in bed? I'm going to offer you some advice. You are still a child and should not be bringing a child into this world. This is coming from a bitch who was also 16 and pregnant. Okay, Brian, I tried. I'm not going to jail for putting my hands on this little ass girl. Good luck with your baby. Anyways, Savannah, you wanna help me decorate the nursery? For what? For our baby. I'm sorry, me and Brian's baby. You know what? I gotta go. I have errands to run. So, y'all keep in touch. Okay, so I brought y'all here so y'all can work out y'all's differences. Tamika, are you fucking crazy? This old, crusty, stiff wig wearing bitch. Stop, me. bitch, I hit you with this motherfucking bottle. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. This hair came from my natural scalp. That synthetic blend was sewed into yours. There is no working out our differences. Your ass is going to jail. You're pressing charges? Hell yes, I'm pressing charges. Versace. Shut up, Savon. Because if it was any of your other little bitches that got shot, you wouldn't be saying anything. You didn't even come see me in the hospital. I did come see you. While I was unconscious. You didn't even wait for me to wake up. You left. Versace, how can I make this right? Tamika, your mother tried to kill me. Would you still be trying to make it right if she succeeded? Would you recommend we work out our differences at my funeral too? Make it make sense. <laughs> Timmy, are you gonna let this girl put me in jail or are you going to handle it like I taught you to? Hell nah, mama. What you thinking about right now? How would you like to get married in Paris?
To Savon? To Savon. To Savon? Make him propose to me right now. A genuine proposal. Get on your knees, boy. Man, come on, mama. Hell no. Ugh, Savon, propose to this desperate little bitch so grandma can go home. Or do you want to see me in somebody's under jail? I'm not marrying you. Well, then I'm on my way to the police station. What you want to do? Savon, mama, no. I didn't do anything wrong in this situation. Why am I being punished? Grandma. Boy, I'm too old and pretty to be in jail. That ain't nothing personal. No, it is personal. And he's right. You did that shit to us growing up. I'm not about to let you do it to my child, too. Why should he suffer for some shit that you did? Ugh, I'm getting tired of you taking your mommy issues out on me. Go see a fucking therapist already. Ugh, all this sentimental bullshit. It's pathetic and all, but none of y'all asses got shot. I did. So y'all need to be trying to figure out a way to make me happy before I march my pretty ass down to the police station. Oh, shut up. This is how this is going to go. I'm not marrying you, but me and you can try to work on being in a serious relationship. That's all I'm willing to give. And in exchange, you forgive my grandma. Pathetic. So does that mean you get to move in with me? Oh, you starting already. Mama, I need a drink. Oh, me too. I'm sorry you got shot. I know you are not still tripping over Trent and Savannah. I fucked up. I slept with this girl two weeks ago thinking that it would make me get over Trenton. You actually slept with a girl? Congratulations. You are no longer a virgin, my boy. I did not use a condom. <gasps> Brian. Oh, mama is going to flip. Mm. Now that we're all gathered here today, I have some news I'd like to share. Well, before you do that, Mama, we all would just like to apologize to you. Who is we? Mama, we have been so selfish. And we completely forgot that you went through so much to keep a roof over our heads. Did she? You have done the best you could. And for that, we appreciate you. Ma, I don't know that much about cancer. But I know that we're all in this with you and we're gonna get through this. Oh, my babies. I love y'all. Now, Tamika, you said you had something you wanted to share. I went to mama's doctor the other day to, you know, find out what exactly was said because I had some questions, comments, and concerns. And, of course, he couldn't share anything because of doctor-patient confidentiality. But what he did say was that Mama had lumps. And they were all benign. Yeah. So, Mama, what was your goal here? Did you think you were going to get some sympathy from us? Let me get this straight. You went to Mama's doctor after she told us she had cancer? Yes. You have to be the most fucked up individual I have ever met, Tamika. What? 
Tamika, mama is dying. And instead of you coming together with us, you want to be a hateful bitch and embarrass her? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. This must already be hard for mama. And here you go trying to make it worse for her. Sis, who hurt you? Who hurt her? Hmm. It could be the lies she has told us about mama's ex-husband Earl coming on to her when really she was coming on to him. Now, Terry, I have let that go. I know, mama, but Tamika has put you through a lot. Tara, you're going to sit there and let this man who is married to an overweight, endangered species say that to me? Hey, my wife may be out of shape, but at least she's happy, unlike you. <laughs> when your husband is feeding you 10 to 15 meals a day and wiping your ass because you can't reach past your belly button, I'd be happy too. Really, Tamika? You are the oldest. And you need to be trying to figure out a way to make this easier for mama. But instead, you're over here arguing with Terry. What is happening right now? I believe your siblings are starting to see past your bullshit, Tamika. Now, I don't know who Banan is, but that bitch is lying. I have titty cancer. Ugh, it is an insult to people who actually have cancer. I hate that. I hate that you have to result this low for some damn sympathy, money, or whatever you're after. Prove it. Prove that you have cancer. Mama! <gasps> nice try, Mama. But you've always been bald-headed. Your hair has never been able to grow past an inch. Those naps have been there since Martin Luther King, not because of some fake-ass cancer. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mama is full of shit. And y'all know that. Well, that's right, Dad. I hope it brings you the peace you need, Tamika. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Asshole. Bitch. Miserable bitch. I am so disappointed in you, Tamika. Don't come around when something does happen to mama. And don't call us for updates. We're done with you. Consider yourself an only child. I can't remember the last time I seen all my children in one room. None of you even bother to answer the phone when I call. Answer the phone for what? All you do is ask for money. Or a ride when you have your own car but don't want to waste your gas but want to waste everybody else's gas. Hey, not too much on my mama. Not too much on the underaged females, Tommy. Or your nieces. Tell me, why are we here? I am dealing with a lot right now and I don't have time to sit here and listen to your kids argue. Your kids? So you're above us, Tamika? Terry, shut up! I am above this. And you know I'm the wrong sister to be trying to argue with. I will air your shit the fuck out. Again, Tammy, why are we here? When did I become Tammy? That's your name, isn't it? What do you have going on that is more important than what I'm about to say? You see, I have kids that I'm actually a mother to. And right now, I'm dealing with their poor decisions in life. But I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. I just prefer not to deal with you or your bullshit. Mika, what happened now? <laughs> Brian got a girl pregnant. Brian? I didn't know he had it in him. Wait, I thought he was the gay one. He is. You know who else is gay? Your twin boys. Who also think that they're Disney princesses. <laughs> I get it. You're a single mother who is divorced, has no man, can't get a man. Because you're always angry and bitter. I'm married, happy. 
and I understand. Your wife weighs approximately 600 pounds. God almighty. You have to put bricks under y'all's bed because of her oversized back. The last time you slept with her, she tried to climb on top of you and sent you to the emergency room for broken ribs and a crushed lung. Are you still having trouble breathing? Fuck. The only person I shared that with is you, Tara. So clearly you can't keep your fucking mouth shut. How's Tarika? Did she ever find out who her baby daddy was? Tanika, I told you that in confidence. Right, you did. And he made me share it publicly. See, my nephew got him somebody pregnant. I knew he liked him some coochie. I'm proud of him. Mama, why are we here? Ah, it's been a minute since we argued. I feel like starting some shit. Tanya, tell Tamika that you slept with her ex-husband. You slept with Michael? Tamika, no. I would never do that to you. He slept with me well after y'all's divorce. And I told him that he was wrong for that. Like, how could you sleep with your ex-wife's sister? Tanya, how could you? He slept with me. It's the same thing, you bitch. No, it's not. He came to me. You could have said no, Tanya. It's not in my vocabulary. I love men. I am a whore. And I get it from my mama. You like this shit, don't you? Seeing us argue and be against each other, you like that? Y'all have been arguing since y'all was kids, and I am tired of trying to stop it. So when y'all are ready to hear what I have to say, let me know. Tanya, you are insane. You want to know what's insane, Terry? Your wife being banned from every buffet in the state of Texas because she decided to wipe one out in Houston. I mean, she cleared out the entire restaurant and then had the audacity to ask the employees to fill up more food trays. I mean, bitch, how about you throw some of it back up? Fuck. Another thing I shared with only you, Tara. You did. And it's my fault for thinking that I could share your business with our sisters in confidence. I won't do it again. Y'all keep going. I love the abuse. Shut up, Tommy. You are literally the youngest and the dumbest. And mama's favorite. Mama, don't forget that Tara and Tamika slept with your ex-husband, Earl. Did you know that Earl was your real daddy and told mama to get rid of you when she found out she was pregnant with you? You look lost. She never told you that Earl was your real daddy? No? Oh, Tamika. What are you talking about? We all have the same daddy. You sound crazy. Our father died before your ass was conceived. Mama, she's lying. Tell her. Tell her she's lying. Oh, Tammy, you look hurt. Go ahead and tell him that the man that you accused me of Tara sleeping with was his real daddy. And also tell him that he never claimed him or loved him. You know what, Tamika? You are your mother's daughter. Whether you want to accept it or not, you and me are just the same. I have stage three cancer. I do hope that little information brings y'all all together. Have a good day. Oh my God, Tamika, your son is talking about he has stuff to do and I have to go to work. Can you please watch the baby for a little bit? Yeah, that's fine. You look stressed. What's wrong? Nothing. No, something is wrong because any other time if I asked you to watch the baby, you would have been like, do I look like Savon to you? Girl, 
girl, what is wrong? My mama allegedly has cancer. I'm just doing some research on it. Don't. I hope she. Versace dies. Oh my God. Holy Father, I rebuke that chemotherapy in your name. I come to you today and ask you to block it from healing her body. Do not let the devil win. Get out. You know she lying anyway, Tamika. She probably got something up her sleeve or wants some attention or some money. I'll be back in an hour to get the baby. Ma, this is Nia, and I tried. Shh, shh, shh. I got this. Ma, this is a little girl that Brian got pregnant. Wait, am I really meeting Savan's mom? Ah, you gave birth to him? I'm your daughter-in-law. It is an honor to finally meet you. I'm carrying Brian's baby, but in my head, it's Savon's baby. Brian, I'm pretty sure that I was very much clear when I said that I wanted this taken care of. So why is it not taken care of? And why is it in my kitchen speaking to me? Ma, I tried. But I can't tell a girl what to do with her body. Y'all are just going to have to get over it. All my friends are pregnant and it's my turn and I'm already showing. How far along are you? Three months. Mm. Yeah, something's not quite right. Brian, when did you meet this little girl? Four weeks ago. The timeline is not timelining. For you to be my smartest child and have a four-year scholarship to Harvard, I am disappointed that you have you have forgotten how to fucking calculate. Oh Lord, I know my child is not turning slow. You said you had sex with her four weeks ago? Yes, ma'am. Okay, stay with me. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. You said four weeks ago. So then this little bitch should only be one month pregnant, right? Right. But she just said that she's an additional two months on top of that one month. You tracking? No. Brian, wake the fuck up. You found this girl four weeks ago and she is sitting here saying that she is three months pregnant. She's trying to say that I was already pregnant around the time we met Brian. Oh. Oh. <sighs> About damn time. Shit. So you a ho-ho. Ugh, I feel disgusted I even touched you. Oh my God. Yep, it's not your baby, but I'm making you and Savon responsible for it because you're the last person I messed with and he's the last person I fantasized about. Little girl, get your ass out of my house before I go get a belt and whoop you my damn self. Bye, Savon. Oh, mama, that is a relief. I, I'm, oh, I'm so relieved. <sighs> Get your ass out of my kitchen and go learn your damn timetables again. Once again, bitch, just relax. Bitches won't be this.
You need to be figuring out what you're going to do. I don't know how this works, Savon. You clearly have way more experience in getting hoes pregnant than me, so you tell me what to do. Why are you yelling at me? You're the one opening up boxes and not reading the manual. How was I supposed to know a vagina came with instructions? Well, the first thing you want to do is wear a condom, my boy. And if you can't do that, simply pull out. Simply pull out? Simply pull out. Simply pull out. Simply pull out. One kid and five abortions later. Did you simply forget to pull out? You're upset and you're saying hurtful things. It's understandable. Did this hoe take a pregnancy test? No, it's only been a few weeks. Have you talked to her? No, I blocked her on everything. Why would you do that? Because I was disgusted with myself after. And I realized I am actually gay. Every time I looked at it, it reminded me of an oyster. Why does it look like that? Yeah, you gay as hell because ain't no straight man asking that question. Well, if this girl is actually pregnant, can you take us to the clinic, Devon? Hell no. You're the one out here experimenting. You do it. Experiments on what? Nothing. It didn't sound like nothing. I heard Savon say something about getting girls pregnant. Did you get somebody pregnant, Brian? No. I was so hoping you were going to be honest with me. I can't snitch on you if you're going to lie. I'm not lying. Savon. I said what I had to say, Brian. Be a man and handle your situation. Pregnant girls experimenting a situation? That's enough ammunition to bring to mama. Kyrie, you don't get tired of snitching. No. I get off on watching mama tear you apart. And if I say her name five times in a row, she will appear like Candyman. Kyrie. I've already said it once. Four more to go. What do you want? Hmm. How about you tell me what I want? Mama. Oops. Three more to go. Oh my God. Can you stop? <laughs> no, because I love my mama. Uh-oh. <laughs> Two more to go. Kyrie, I will beat your ass again. Mama. Uh, shit. I'll cut the grass for a week. Oh, a little sweat ain't never hurt nobody. I think I've said her name four times in a row now. One more to go. I'll do all your chores for a year. Mm, tempting, but no. You have five seconds to make me feel good. <laughs> do something to make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck that. Mama. Oh. You don't love your life. Why is there yelling in my kitchen? <laughs> Brian got something he want to tell you. Oh, I wonder what it is. I already know it's going to piss me off. But y'all love that, right? Y'all love that shit. Y'all love when I have to put my hands on y'all. So what is it, Brian? Go ahead. Mom, I might have gotten this girl pregnant. I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say to me? up with this girl a few weeks ago and um I, Brian put some damn bass in your voice I cannot quite hear you clearly now come again would you start speaking if I reach over this counter and grab your ass Ma, she might be pregnant I don't know you confuse me you confuse me because you're supposed to be gay which is already a bit much for me, but now you want to be gay and do straight things. Pick a damn sexuality. Uh, I'm gay. Okay, okay, all right, all right, that's nice to know. I can't, I, I can't, I cannot, I cannot. Make it go away, make it go away before I make you go away. Make it go away. Yes, ma'am. This shit better be cleared up by next weekend.
Kyrie, where you been at, boy? Grandma. You left me at the casino in Las Vegas three weeks ago. I had to call my mama to come get me. Now you a damn lie. I didn't go to no casino. I dropped you off at one of your little friend's house and you ain't never came back. Tamika, who you gonna believe? Me or Kyrie, who lies every time he opens his mouth? You incompetent, selfish, irresponsible, disappointing, lying ass. Now wait a minute now, I'm still your mama. And you have sucked at it ever since I was a child. I was a fool to leave my kids with you. Mika, I wasn't in no damn Las Vegas. Kyrie was, so how the hell did he get there? Oh shit, I, I don't know. Kyrie, how did you get to Vegas? Grandma, now you know I love you and I know I'm your favorite, but I found it hard to believe that you don't remember. Your friend Carla, remember it was her birthday. You didn't wanna, you didn't wanna miss it. But you don't want to leave me at home alone with Brian and Savan. So you took me with you. But then you forgot about me the next morning and left me at the Airbnb. I had to call my mama and I've been with her ever since. You left Brian and Savan alone? Brian, how were you getting to school? Oh, grandma took me out for a week until she got back. So you took my child out of school for a week without my authorization. How was he going to get to school if I was supposedly in Las Vegas, Tamika? And I don't like how you talking to me right now because you damn sure can't whoop my ass. I'm your mama, okay? So instead of you complaining, say thank you for me watching your kids while you wanted to go have a mental break. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that to this day, you are still a sorry ass excuse for a mother and a grandmother. Oh, and another thing, whose black Mercedes is that parked outside of my driveway? Mine. Hmm. You have an estimate of $5,000 left in your bank account. So who did you screw to get that Mercedes? None of your damn business, girl. Mind your business. Hmm. And you, you haven't been asking me for any money or Savon. Why is that? I got a raise at work. You work at Rainbow. You and them Rainbow bitches get paid $4 an hour and you're part time. So unless you're taking cash out of the register, you a damn lie. Okay, I cannot put two and two together right now, but I will. And for y'all's sake, I hope there are no more surprises. Savon, Carmen is getting induced this weekend, so make sure you are at that hospital for your second child. Yes, ma'am. Is there something you want to say? No, she good. When did you start speaking for her? Tanika, you are so ungrateful. I took care of you, your brothers, and your sisters the best way I could. And y'all are still alive and breathing today. Your kids are alive and breathing today. I might not have been the best mother or grandmother, but I did the best I could with what I was given. Are you done? Or is there more you'd like to bitch about? You left my 16-year-old son in a state where he could have been God knows what if I didn't show up on time. So I don't give a damn about your struggles as a mother and what it turned you into. You know what, you disrespectful heifer. I'll let myself out. And stay out. I will. Oh, bougie ass. I can't believe I gave birth to your selfish ass. You don't treat your mama like this. You also don't leave your teenage daughters home alone with the man that you've only been married to for three months and barely knew. But you did. Oh, you know what? I'm tired of hearing that shit, okay? You waited until you were damn near 41 years old to cry about it. That man is dead now. Ain't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Get out of my house and take your sidekick with you. Gladly. Come on, Versace.
We're glad to have you back, Mom. Glad to be back. And y'all will never leave my sight after today. Oh, hell no. Nah. What are you doing here? My son's real father lives here, and it's his weekend, so I'm dropping him off. Mommy, tread lightly. Because if I recall, you sold your soul for $5,000. So don't you even think about messing anything up today. Such a cheap little bitch. Carmen, don't get beat up with that newborn in your hands. You touch my daughter or my grandchild, I will slit your throat, you hood rat bitch. <laughs> you Taco Bell nacho grande eating bitch. I will put my hands on your daughter, that newborn, and you. Required here. I noticed that she went at the hospital. Did I get your daughter pregnant? No, but he is your grandchild. Mm. Let me see him. He's very pale right now. Yeah, he needs some color. Oh, all babies are pale when they first come out. Hand him over. Let me take a look at my new grandbaby. Oh, yeah, he real Mexico. He will grow into his color. Hmm. Versace, go get Louis. I want him to meet his baby brother. Oh, no, that was not a part of the agreement. Interesting. Savan, go get Louis. I want him to meet his baby brother. Um, no, I don't want my son around that baby just yet. I don't know what kind of germs that baby got from his mama. <laughs> you are so pathetic. Mm, Versace. I thought we were making progress. What happened to the growth? Why wouldn't you want Louis to meet his little brother? Versace, you gotta let whatever you holding on to go. You are now baby mama number one, and there is the number two. Deal with it. Anyways, I want all of us to get along. Now that our grandchild is here, there's no reason that we should be fighting. Carmen and Savan, you both should get your own apartment and live together as a happy family. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is my grandson. How does that sound to Mika? I think that sounds amazing. I'll also arrange for a family photo shoot for Carmen, Savan, the baby, and Louie. Ma, you're doing a little too much right now. I don't think I'm doing enough. I think you and Carmen should get married. <gasps> Brittany, are you okay? It's not his baby. What happened? She said she wanted some more money because she is broke. Do you need some more money? Interesting. I think y'all's wedding should be in Paris. I feel like seeing a Paris wedding. I'll pay for it, of course. That's not the boss, baby! Carmen's actual baby daddy is in jail. She goes and see him every week and her broken English ass mama paid Tammy 80K to keep her mouth shut and then Tammy threatened me if I said anything and they gave me $5,000 or fuck you to me because you never forced the bomb to marry me or offer me a parent's wedding.
it's not true. I'm not, I don't know where she got that information from. One of y'all can reach out for him and I hand him to you, or I can just throw him at you. Carmen, you are the biggest hoe I have ever met. I knew that baby looked a little too spicy when he came out. You watch your mouth when you talk to my daughter, Marisol. I need you, Carmen, and Lil Caliente to get the hell out of my house. His name is Calante. Whatever the fuck it is, it's not my son's. I didn't find out until the last minute, and I didn't know what to do, so I just went along with it. That may be true, but you still paid my mother 80K to keep her mouth shut. Let me explain. You seem like a very good mother who takes care of her kids and her grandchild. That man that my daughter is pregnant by is never getting out of prison. And I don't want her to have to raise a child by herself like me. I don't give a fuck. I would have found out eventually when the baby started to look like Uno Stos Tres. What is my daughter supposed to do? Go straight to hell. But in the meantime, I suggest she make an appointment with the local wig office. Hey, see, I ain't no dumbass bitch. <laughs> I'm really a smart one. I knew something wasn't right. And I may not be able to put two and two together right then and there, but I always put it together. You thought you was gonna trap my son. One thing this little mental break did for me was teach me how to use my words and not my hands. With that being said, Savan. Let me walk y'all out while my mama is still allowing y'all to. It's Saturday. They got visitation at the prison today. Go show that man his baby. I want an apology. You ain't getting shit. Apology for what? Tamika, I am your mother. Yes, you are. What do you want? You want to be friends? You want to comb each other's hair? You want, to, you want me to be nice to you? You laid down and had six kids. It gave you a title. It does not mean anything. Okay, that's cute. You brought me over here because you thought that you and Savon was going to check me about the deal I made with Marisol, but I was going to drain her pockets, and then I was going to tell you when I was done with her. Oh, you are so full of it. You wasn't going to tell me shit, mama. Grandma, then you paid my baby mama to go along with it. And that little bitch owed me $5,000. Owed? As in past tense? So she paid you back? I took another form of payment from her. Anyway, Savan, have you talked to her? I got this weird call from her mom this morning. I haven't talked to her in a week. I called her the other day, but she didn't answer the phone. What did her mama say? Hmm. She dropped the baby off a week ago and has not been back to pick him up, and she's not answering the phone. I don't suppose you've seen her? Who, me? Oh, no. But I did hear that there was a drive-by shooting in her neighborhood last week. One casualty. What? Grandma, why didn't you tell us? I was too busy trying to hide from y'all because y'all thought y'all was finna corner me and shit. Ma, 19-year-old girl was shot in her driveway and taken to the hospital in critical condition. Critical condition? What you mean? So she ain't dead? Ma, we gotta go. Okay, let me grab my keys. No! Mama, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Mama, I'm about to dip. I'll keep you posted. Savar, no. That girl is in critical condition. I might be dying and you might not see me again. That's my son's mother, Grandma. I hope you feel better, though. You ain't gonna go follow him? He said he'll keep me updated. How are those chest pains? Okay, look, I'm gonna just tell you what happened. 
After you have busted Maricel, she called me and said that she was going to pop Versace and then pop me if I didn't go with her to watch. She mentioned that her granddaddy was, you know, the lord of the Mexican drug cartel, whatever. And I just, I got scared. So I felt like she was going to kill me if I didn't go with her. So if Versace says she saw me there, it's because I was forced into the car to go and watch them pop her. Mama, I've known you my whole life. I have watched you take out two of my daddy's wives because you're a real hood bitch, right? So you mean to tell me that you are sitting here today saying that somebody forced you into a car to go pull up on somebody and you ain't pulled a trigger. Somebody else did. Oh my God, I was hoping I was right. I don't know what to do about mama. What do you mean? She shot this girl. The girl is still very much alive and breathing, Tamika. Let it go. When you say you don't know what to do about mama, what do you mean? Because there's really nothing you can do. Are you thinking about calling the cops on mama? Versace does want to press charges. And you're going to let her? Mama almost killed that girl. The mother of my grandson. Savan is very upset. Wow. Mama has done how many drive-by shootings while we were growing up? And some of them we were in the car for. Did you call the cops then? Honestly, Tamika, I'm shocked that you're even contemplating calling the cops on our mother. I didn't say I was calling the cops. I'm asking my dumbass younger sisters for advice. But clearly neither one of you bitches can comprehend that. But Tamika, there better be a good reason I missed my golf session for this. Yeah, my girl outside waiting for me. What's up? And how old is this girl, Tommy? Is she legal? She's well over age, Tara. Are we talking early teens, mid-teens, late teens, under 18? Tara, why are you focused on me? Ain't Tarika pregnant and don't know who her baby daddy is? You're about to be a grandmother? Tell Tommy and Terry why they are here. Mama tried to kill my grandson's mother. <laughs> That's why you called me here? Because of Mama? Sis, Mama has tried to kill a few people while we were growing up, and she even succeeded a few times. Ain't shit new. Thank you. Mama's behavior has gotten out of control. She knew that Carmen's baby was not Savon's, and all it took was 80K for her to go along with it. <sighs> Mama has done some fucked up shit to all of us, Tamika. That's mama. She tried to run my wife over with the car a few years ago. Did you forget that? Mika, the girl is still alive. Why are you acting so surprised right now? You know, once you cross mama, ain't no going back. But this girl is still alive. And I'm sure she has learned her lesson. So just keep mama away from her, okay? All right. Are we done here? Because I gotta go. To your next dick appointment. It's good to see you in the flesh, Tanya. It's been a minute. Terry, my big brother, I haven't seen you in so long. How are the kids? No, scratch that. How's your wife's weight loss journey? Are you still having trouble hiding the honey buns from her fat ass? Oh, she's great. Thanks for asking. I heard you stopped sleeping with these old men and now you're sleeping with inmates at the local prison. <laughs> Is that what you heard? Yeah, I heard you go down there every Wednesday as a volunteer and about four or five of them take turns stretching you out. Terry, enough. No, let him finish. And Tommy, you don't know what my daughter has going on. I'm out of town, thugging with my rounds. I know I ain't her baby daddy. I know that. Didn't she sleep with Kyrie? No, she didn't. And you're a predator, Tommy. Oh, your ex-husband likes little boys. Let's not point the finger. Oh, Corey finally came out the closet. Speaking of closets, Terry, is that where you hide all the snacks from your wife? How's her diabetes? How's your HIV and hepatitis? Damn, damn, damn! Have you been taking your meds?
<laughs> I hope that you fuck up one day and forget to give your wife her insulin shots and that bitch goes and sneaks a whole pack of Oreos on your ass. Tell me, tell me something. Are you still hanging out at that high school after school watching the cheerleaders practice? My youngest daughter, your niece, said that last week she saw Uncle Tommy in the bleachers watching them practice. Tara, your ex-husband is the basketball coach at that high school. Did you say anything when you found out that he was having private lessons with those young men in your garage oh shut up you know what you yeah, have no like proof like, of that you, you are just mad because you are the oh, only yeah, one in yeah, here oh, oh, that oh, literally oh, is messing with minors you are just i mean how do you, how do you sleep at night that big beastie looking bitch not that i give a fuck but what's wrong with you leave me the fuck alone oh i can't i won't and now I gotta bother you. Kyrie, I'm in the mood to beat somebody's ass. Oh, well, that's great because I'm in the mood to watch you try. And when I knock your ass out, don't tell mama. Okay, come on, let me see what you got. Kyrie, I am not in the mood. But you said you were in the mood and now all of a sudden you're not in the mood. But that's beside the point because I'm in the mood to see you try and beat somebody's ass. What's good? Me and Trenton just broke up. Oh, damn. Oh, so you'll tell Savon what's going on, but you don't want to tell me what's going on? Kyrie, if you have not noticed by now, I do not like you. You also can't whoop my ass. Kyrie, relax. Oh, so you ain't going to try Savon, but you'll try me? Well, see, all I got to do is ask Savon one time to come whoop my ass, and he going to do that. You, on the other hand, have yet to put your hands on me. All you've done this whole time is talk. Which lets me know that you are a bitch. I fought you a couple times. You fight like a bitch. I ain't scared of you. Get up, Kyrie. Get up, because all you do is fucking Brian, 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 Somebody explain to me why y'all are fighting in my kitchen. Mama, he, he just attacked me out of nowhere. Mama, Kyrie keeps annoying me. So ignore him. Mama, how about you simply tell him to stop annoying us and he wouldn't get beat up? Look at his face. Uh, Brian, you didn't even connect. You can't fight. I don't want to hear that shit. I have talked to y'all about putting your hands on each other. I don't like it. Why the hell is it happening to my damn kitchen? Ma, me and Trenton just broke up. I'm in my feelings right now, and I was in here minding my business, and Kyrie just came in here and made it worse. So forgive me if I put my hands on your precious gift from God because he or you can't control his mouth. Learn how to control yours before I bust it open. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm not a relationship expert, but relationships end. You move on, and another one begins. Brian, you are headed into your senior year in high school, something Savon failed to do. Mom, I ain't got nothing to do with this. I would not have my second born making the same mistake. Now, you will experience more relationships in life. You are young, but unfortunately, this one was not it. Now, apologize to your brother. I'm sorry that your mouth got you beat up and I'll do it again. Mama, Mama, that wasn't no apology. Mama, he didn't apologize. Mama, he didn't apologize. Shut up, boy. 